Welcome back everyone, this is part 6 of our review series and we have the Turtles in Time Shredder. Um, for any of you that have been watching, you've probably been just watching these uh, upload one day after the other. Um, but for me this has all been done in one long session. So this is the last one I have just now. They have to wait for more Turtles figures to arrive from eBay. Um, as mentioned. I spent just over £500 on getting essentially a whole collection. Uh, they're not all NECA, they're not all Super 7, and they're not all Best Action, but a combination of them, uh, because I just wanted my own collection of the best ones that I wanted. So, this is the Turtles in Time Shredder, um, which is... I've only got two Turtles in Time figures, this Shredder and... Slash, which is the Dimension X Turtle, and um, we can see the box is very, very different to the previous boxes. There's no blurb in the back, but it does say collect them all, and it's got Mikey, Raph, and Leatherhead. So I think this might have been Wave 2. I think Wave 1 might have had Leo, Donatello, and Foot Soldier, and I'm not sure. I think this is probably the same mould, the same figure as the NECA cartoon shredder that you just saw at the beginning of this video and you saw it in the previous um, video. Interesting. Um, so I think this is going to be the same here. Um, what I was looking at is the spikes and the legs. He's got um, like three spikes, you know, one in the middle and uh, two on each side, whereas the cartoon shredder only has uh, two lines of spikes here and on the other side as well and also on the forearms he only has two lines of spikes as well whereas the, cart the computer game one has three lines of spikes so I'm thinking hmm, maybe they're not the same figure then maybe they just look very similar so the best way to find out is for us to open it up and check so let us get into this we're going to cut this open here um, I don't know what the value of this one is, I didn't look it up, um, but I know how expensive the Cartoon Shredder is, so I'm guessing that the Computer Game 1 is probably around about the same price tag. Uh, of course, um, the background comes with the area that you fight him in, which uh, you can just see part of the Statue of Liberty in the background, um, which is where you fight this version of Shredder. Um, there is a little bit of debate online as to whether this is Shredder or Super Shredder because he does have super abilities but he isn't um, you know, the full on you know, transformed Super Shredder so um, it's interesting to say the least but uh, that is not for us to debate here today uh, this seems to be cell taped in so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the tassels uh, once again this Shredder does come with the soft goods cape um, what do you guys think of soft goods? Uh, I personally am not a fan. I prefer to have everything made of solid plastic. Uh, I don't really like the whole cloth kind of robes things and stuff. Um, it just doesn't work for me. I would prefer it if it was a solid plastic uh, robe instead of um, a cloth one. I'm not sure why that is. Uh, maybe I've just got it ingrained into my head that um, you know, from a young age, from the time that I was around, that uh, cloth things are meant for uh, dolls and such, and um, plastic things are meant for figures. Um, maybe that is a backwards way of thinking. Uh, maybe I should uh, educate myself and be more in touch with um, the idea of the cloth goods. I don't know. If you think that is a thing, do let me know. Uh, or if you're also against cloth goods, uh, if you prefer to have, you know, the stylized plastic version, uh, then also let me know that as well. Um, I think the thing I like about the plastic ones is that it comes stylized, uh, because I mean, um, obviously I, I, I don't buy these to play. They will be reviewed once and then they'll sit on a shelf and they'll look very pretty until the end of time. And that is what they do. So, um, and I don't think anyone with the price tag these have 
you would ever buy them, you know, with intent for playing them or playing with them. Uh, especially just how rare they are, as well as the price of them. Um, I just generally wouldn't be advised. Uh, the best action stuff, um, the BST EXN, that could probably be played with. That is the kind of thing that you could certainly get for a child that is into Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Um, there we go. I think they'd be very happy with it, but things like this? Uh, no, not so much. Right, so we now have access to our computer game shredder. And there he is in all of his glory. So once again, as I was saying with the other NECA figures, um, sometimes the joints are in refusal to move and a lot of people accidentally break their joints when they come out of the box because they don't give them the proper time to work with them or they don't soft them up or heat them um, beforehand. So we're going to look at the articulation of Shredder a little bit later. First, let's look at the accessories that he comes with. So let's remove this irritating sellotape here. And also, I've been unboxing and reviewing for a number of hours now at this point, so um, that's a mistake. So this is a very cool accessory. Um, if you remember from the computer game, that is one of his attacks. He has the big uh, energy hand that comes out and attacks. Um, uh, this is also... Ah, well, this is quite cool here. So I'm not sure what hand goes into this. But something obviously goes into this for that fire punch effect, so or plasma or whatever that is supposed to be. So that is also quite cool to see. Um, they certainly have, you know, taken everything from the computer game and they've went. Uh, that is what needs to happen. Um, of course, Shredder doesn't come with a sword. Instead, he comes with his lightsaber, which he did have in the computer game. And he's used different weapons in the computer games over the years. This looks to be the same hand as we saw with the cartoon version. Um, the same with this one as well. This is the exact same martial arts pose that I mentioned with the two fingers brought in. And then these are probably going to be the gripping hands. Yes, that is grip one and this is grip two. There we go. So that all makes sense, and then I'm going to move this to the side, and let us see what this all does. So first things first is let's look at this. So what goes in here? Um, is it maybe closed fist? So if the thumb is on this side here, then... Presumably it is this one. So let's try moving uh, Shredder. So that moves fine. Bicep swivel, also fine. Uh, double elbow, yep, good. Uh, this actually, this is a, a lot easier to work with than um, the cartoon one. The shoulder is still very, very stiff, so I'm gonna leave that for just now. Gonna give it a little bit of time. Um, let's try this one. How's the shoulder? The shoulder is easier on this one, still requires a bit of strength. Bicep swivel is fine. Double elbow is fine. Good. Uh, these are actually soft good. You can see here that they, you know, they bend. Um, they're not solid. Uh, now the legs were something that we were having problems with last time. Uh, head is completely fine. It seems to be the same swivel as on the cartoon one. Um, so the knees aren't entirely bent in this time as they were the last one. The leg actually has a lot more possibility than the cartoon one, I think. Either that or this one is just more flexible. Um, so as you can see, the knee is over here and the shin pad is over here, so we need to fix that. So we bring the foot down and then we just slowly try and coax the shin pads to go around. Um, it doesn't want to. Uh, so the leg, it does move upwards. Yep, you can, you can actually do a pretty good high kick. 
Uh, now, does the leg swivel? That is the problem that we were having with the previous one. Um, it does not want to. And I'm not going to try it much more than that. That's the maximum that I'm willing to test because I do not want to go damaging my figure. Uh, so that might need to wait until later. Um, that's interesting. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we've managed to get the shin to move. So we do have now. We now have the spikes at the front where they are supposed to be. Uh, let's try it with this one. Uh, once again, the shin is very in refusal. Um, the knee is completely fine. The ankles are fine. But thankfully, the shin is in the correct place, so we don't need to worry that much about that one. Um, okay, so um, actually, the the shin is just out of place, as you can see. Um, it's very irritating that the foot is just not exactly lined up. Um, okay, you can see there's a little bit of glue there. So I'm going to try and uh, move that. Um, I'm going to try and do it on camera just to let you see the process. Um, but no, it is, it is solidly stuck there. So uh, that is the kind of thing that uh, what you need to do with that is you need to heat it up um, and uh, get some hot water. Uh, just soak the joint in the hot water for a little bit and then that eases it up. Oh, and we've got the shoulder working now, a little bit. It doesn't go out by much, but it goes out a little bit of the way. There we go. There, that is as far as we are getting with the shoulder. So, um, okay, so we've got the flexibility. So let's try this then. So the thumb is supposed to be on this side. So it's actually this one. So let's try this. Um... Does this work? I'm not sure. Um, this is an interesting thing, to say the least. Um, it looks like these parts all fit. Although maybe it's, maybe it's meant to be an open hand. Let's try that instead. So uh, if we go for not that one, this one. Let's try that. Does that work instead? Um, not really. Let's try the other open hand. Let's see if it's maybe supposed to be this direction. Aha, uh -huh, that looks a little bit more acceptable. Yep, that is definitely the hand that it's supposed to go with. You can see that the thumb has a thumb hole there. This part here, it wasn't for the thumb, this is actually for the fingers. And the hand is supposed to be open, so that it does this, and then you've got the fire effect coming out of this thing. That's pretty cool, actually. So I think we're probably going to use that. Um, this here, it is... Oh my goodness, um, we are... Hello everyone, we are back. This is me, the Grand Cat. Um, the camera ran out of battery, and um, <laughs> like I was literally, it was on one percent, and I ran over, tried to plug it in, and it just didn't get there in time. So this is about two hours later, and I've left everything exactly as it was. So we still have the fireball in the hand. Uh, we still have the big claw. Um, which is interesting. No, this is all just one solid piece. The big uh, hand. And of course, we have the lightsaber in <clears throat> the left hand. So, let's try putting all of this together and see how it looks. So, we shall remove this hand here. It pops off. And then pop in the lightsaber. The next one, we're going to pop off the closed fist and there we go so another thing I didn't really mention this before but I really like the pattern on this it's all pixelated like it's meant to be from the computer game so it's a pretty cool styling choice we will attach this one to here so that is what it looks like so I think what we're going to try and go for is we're going to try and do a pose sort of like this, 
and uh, we're going to try and extend this shoulder out which if I remember was a little bit stiff um, so something like that and then if we can we're going to try and attach this as well so this obviously goes under the hand it's supposed to go in the left hand because obviously you can see this is a giant left hand it wouldn't make any sense in the right hand so let's try just equipping this to here so i don't think it goes on there so i'm going to try and click it into there like so and suddenly it's became a very very heavy arm uh, it does not want to stay up but you get the idea of it. I don't think both of these were supposed to be used at the same time but I kind of really like both of them and in order for both of them to be used they both have to be equipped to the same hand in order for them to make sense. So there we go, it is very very cool. So I don't think there's going to be much more that we can do with this video. So um, we've already seen all of the accessories, I'm just going to remove the remaining hand accessories there. And there we go. Um, certainly an interesting look. Um, again, I think it is the same sculpt as the cartoon version of Shredder. But as you can see, they're very, very different when paired together. I think they have different armour, you know, like the spikes up here at the side, the forearm spikes and so on. So it is pretty cool to see. You can see that the colours really kind of jump out a lot more with the computer game version of Shredder. Um, and I think, once again, the size... Oh, my goodness, nope, they're all falling over. That is... Leo not standing properly. I think the size of the turtles in comparison to Shredder is pretty much on point. I mean, you could absolutely see, um, you know, that being, you know, a fighting stance. You know, like, to be perfect for the correct height for those. So, very, very cool to see. Um, let's just put him on the little turntable and we will finish up the video. So I'm very very pleased with my Shredder. Um, again there is debate as to whether he is regular Shredder or Super Shredder. Um, either way I'm very very happy. Is that going to hit off there? I think if I do that then there we go. That is Leonardo falling over once again uh, off camera. <laughs> um, I shall need to fix that. But anyway, there we go. I uh, shall turn the screen up a little bit so that Shredder is entirely in screen. Uh, I think that is going to be it for this video, folks. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, give us a like, share, a like, share and subscribe. If you are subscribed, make sure you click that notification icon so you can see when more of these videos go up. And if you watched all the way through, um, thank you very much. Even through the technical errors that we had halfway through the little video, um, that was just because of how much recording I had been doing the entire time, a uh, bit more than usual. But um, yes, so uh, that is me currently ran out of figures for turtles, but I have more that should be arriving today, which is why I want to get these all out of the way. So that is the initial first six videos, I believe, and we've got a lot more to go. So look forward to that in the future, and we will see you all in the next video. Goodbye everybody.